module 191 in the chapter of optimization today we are going to discuss the two topics that what is technical efficiency and what is economic efficiency as we are well aware that when we use the term efficiency it means that it is enhanced productivity or what we can say it is the best production setup or when we say a person is particularly more efficient it means he is going to give you more product as compared to the other with whom it has been compared likewise when we compare the two machines that machine a is more efficient than the machine b it means machine a yields more output with the less cost or when we say that with the less time and likewise so when we say the technical efficiency, it particularly related with only the production concept. Mean the total amount of the output produced by that resource. So, if we have to compare various levels of output produced by various factors of production, we will see which factor of production is going to have more unit of the output. We will give notation to that resource that it is technically efficient and when a combination of resources is utilized in a production function we can say which production function is more technically efficient so it depends upon that there can be the various level of the production function and their various forms there is a possibility that one production function it utilizes 100 units of the labor plus 10 units of the out uh, 10 units of the machine or 10 units of the capital likewise there can be any other production function that is going to utilize more number of the machine plus less number of the labor these two both type of the production function they can be technically efficient in their own but because it depends upon their particular production function now if any production function which was having 10 of labor plus 50 of capital if it will utilize either only one more unit of the labor mean 11 labor plus 50 of machine or the capital it will be inefficient and likewise if we will add one more of the labor mean 10 of the Lab, uh, labor plus 51 of that capital we will say that even that will be called inefficient in this very particular case so this only tells us that one production function when it utilizes all of its resources efficiently to produce the maximum level of the output we will say that it is technically efficient and this particular case it explains our rate of technical substitution this particular case when we explain because in this module we are going to give or i can say i'm just giving you a very smaller hint related to that otherwise these two topics they are very lengthy and that requires a very detailed discussion because when we work on this production possibility frontier and that production possibility frontier it gives us that particular point where the output is produced at the edge of that curve we will see that this total form or the economy or that production setup is efficient it means when all resources or the all type of the resources available that will be utilized for the production setup or that will be utilized for the production of the output mean nothing is left back then we can see that nothing is the wastage so that system is best efficient but if there is the production is happening and we see in the production possibility frontier that production is happening inside that curve and during that we will see that this system is inefficient and if i explain like this if we draw the production possibility frontier any point that is available on just the curve line mean either here or either here we will say that it is efficient but if any is available this inside 
but we will say that it is giving us the production but because it is distant from this efficient line or the maximum utilization of resources this will be the inefficient and here this will be equal to this that we can explain this either in the form of this bowler box method we can have this two into two models where labor and capital is available like this and we can see that there are any two type of the firms producing and then we can equate like this a very detailed topic but here if the firm is producing on all those efficient points that are tangent mean iso quant is tangent to the iso quant we can attain this so like this this actually path is available here so we can say that the producer is producing at those points where they are technical efficient and when in the long run production decision we see that various type of the firms they have to see available production resources and these production resources can be in the form of labor in the form of quantity of labor in the amount of capital or the available technology so then they have to select only the available inputs and when they have to select the main factor confronting them is the price of those inputs so what we have to see that either any firm that was initially working on its best combination of resources either in a position to utilize all those resources when that firm has to utilize the prices so those choices they reflect the prices of various factors of production and keeping in view those prices when the firm has to decide its factor of production they may vary than their previous so there is a possibility that any firm that was previously working on all the technical efficient points it is yes efficient but that was not economically efficient means in the form of the economic resources in the form of the rupees available or in the form of the input prices that firm was not economically efficient but if any firm is economically efficient it means that firm is particularly technically efficient as well